what, what, what you see outside. You know, there's not one duty, however sick or whatever I'm feeling, that he will ask me to bypass. So no, it's just the body, it's not you, it's just the body. And in that discipline, being with them, you know, teaching them at every point. Swami says, at every point, I do not want you to give them a toy to play with. That here, you do this while I do this. You know, don't, don't teach them the wrong thing for you to be free. And so that's a tough part, you know, even mm. while doing my work. I have to involve them in such an activity where they are thinking, you know, or I'm, you know, or I have to just do the work while they're following me, but I cannot distract them as most mothers would, you know. Teaching them the values not at the point where you're, uh, you know, teaching them to be good, to look good to others, but to truly be good for yourself. And you've been doing this for how many years now? Now you're they're six years old now. <laughs> and what does that literally mean, that they're not yours, that they're his one day soon, what's going to happen? Oh. He told, uh, he told us in our previous interview, just now, right now, he says, you know they are mine. He asked me first, he said, where are the children? I said, Swami, they are home. Why did you not bring them? I said, Swami, you asked me to leave them. So he smiled, you know. And he said, uh, how are they? Are they alike? And I said, no, Swami, they are very different. Mm -hmm. And he started really laughing. Really, really tell me how they are different, he said. And I said, Swami, the first one is Krishna. And I said, Swami, he's really, truly like Krishna. You know, he loves to love Swami. He loves wherever he goes, there are gopis around him. He loves to love. And he's very attracted to women, so he loves to sit with them and he'll talk. And, you know, and Swami laughed and he put his hands up and said, Krishna, ah, Krishna, like that, you know. And uh, then he asked him, what about the second one? I said, Swami, his name is Karan, but he loves to be called Satyam because that's Swami's name. I said, for him, Swami, there is only you. He gets very angry to pray to any other form must be Swami, you know, he feels, if, even if I look at a picture of Krishna, he'll say, do you love him more? You know, he feels very, Swami is his life. And I told him, I said, Swami, he draws you even on his little kindergarten homework, or whatever he does, there's a little Swami with curly hair, you know. <laughs> he draws a stick figure with curly hair, and Swami said yes. And I said, Swami, you know, the teachers in the United States are also getting to know you through them. <laughs> and he laughed, he said, what do those American teachers know? He said, you know. And... Um, so then he told me, he said, you know, I'm going to keep your, these two boys. That's why I'm giving you one more. I said, then Swami, you should keep all three, <coughs> you know. Run that bias one more time. He said he was going to keep those two boys. That's why he was giving you one more. Yeah, Did you have any idea that you were going to have another child? No, we didn't. Actually, we didn't want another child. Sanjeev and I didn't. I was telling her the story, but I'll tell her.